Well, week 15 heading at us. It is, um, it feels like it's going by really quickly and really considering we're at the 13th of November, this class last date is the 10th. It is moving very quickly. We're less than a month away and we have a big holiday coming down the pike at us. So um, I've been talking about right the end of the semester and all that. So just hopefully keep that in mind of where we're at. I do move things, right? So I move things too, especially for Thanksgiving, not especially it's the only holiday we have left as far as when, because by the time we're done, then it's Christmas. But for Thanksgiving, of course, I move things here, uh, week 16, which is released. And actually week 17, I'll have done soon. So um, just keep an eye on that. Uh, I talked about the idea of, you know, on for dev two, you have two choices, right? You can either take what you did for dev one and refactor it into a class um, implementation, right? Um, that's one of the things you can do. Um, and actually in there, I remember in the requirements, I had actually said if you also wanted to handle, because I would be okay if you didn't do the local storage, just because I think that adds a level of complexity, but it's really good if you do. I'll give you some more points for that as well. But the second thing is really what we're starting in on this semester, sorry, this section, which is such an important thing. Like everything that we've done, so far in this class. We've assumed like the local storage is just quick. We don't have to wait. It just uh, is almost, well, it is immediate because it's local. And that's just not the reality of the web, right? So this section that we're coming into with asynchronous JavaScript is such a fundamental skill and understanding how to make requests from either places that have API, advanced pro, uh, program interfaces, but really it's you're asking um, a URL for some data um, and then you get data back. And then this week's Learn Together, we're gonna take what we're learning here and we're going to implement something. So just like we learned a progression of fun uh, constructor functions and then classes, but really it was mostly syntax sugar, meaning it wasn't really functionally that different. It was just another way to do it. It's similar here in asynchronous, like there's three major paradigms, callbacks, okay? And we make a request with something called, um, it's a really long XML HTTP request. So it's a way to uh, request data from, URLs that supply it. And then we changed to fetch instead of that because it's a more elegant, easier way to program. We also changed to promises. So they kind of go hand in hand and then ultimately we code these things in async await. So really this, and you can think about as you're doing this, this is the other option you have for dev one it, or dev two, your last one is that you could uh, come up with a website, uh, not one we've already dealt with, where you actually um, make a, a request, right? You get back the data, you render it, and you add some kind of functionality to it. So those are your two paths. And really, if you're going for the um, refactoring into class, now's a great time to do it because there's no more content that's going to get added. You could go ahead and start working on that. But also as we move into this section and you see what we're doing for our learn together this week, right? So for week uh, 15, right? Getting the idea of, and here's a, a website that actually, <laughs> and this should feel familiar, right? Hand uh, gives you these to do's. I noticed today when I looked at it, some of them are in foreign language, but the idea is that you can make this request from this URL, you get this JSON data back and you process that uh, blob of JSON um, by iterating uh, through that JSON. Um, you know, I think it's a, just like we've seen before, it's an array of objects, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. And then you just handle that by re um, rendering it to the screen. 
So think about that, right? So now is a good time for you to make that decision about what are you going to do? What do you think? If you're going to do the refactor of the um, Dev 1 in, using a class, then, you know, start working on it. If you're going to do the, um, HTC, uh, the API call, then this really, as you're doing this, you could start also start looking for other sites that you could use. And if you want to have a conversation, come talk to me about it. Okay. So I just want to say this too. This week, this last week, and I know I think most of you are on Discord. There was a discussion about, you know, that there was code that looked very similar. And these are not e easy things for either of us to either you or me who I had to reach out to, these are not easy conversations and they're important conversations because I get why these things happen. And I've said before, so I'll iterate as a matter of fact, I, I've said it in this one too, right? If you, there's two things. So there's one thing you attempt this on your own. And the idea is you understand what the assignment is calling for. And then you attempt this on your own. And if you have, like, you just can't seem to jump over the block of slinking, thinking, how would I do that? Which, by the way, we're learning in the Udemy course that. But if you have a challenge, just you want to see an example, looking at somebody else's example, nothing wrong with that. Just say that in your reply. But the idea is that once you look at somebody else's example, it's not okay to use it per verbatim because it doesn't help you. I mean, honestly, it doesn't. I mean, the idea is that each week we're learning something to extend our knowledge so that when we get to the part of this class, 50% of this class to actual create something, we have some of that muscle built up in our in our experience, right? So we have some of that and I'm trying to do this work without having some of that because you get exposed to the concepts, you get some muscle memory by following along with the Udemy courses. You get to see how well you're translating it by his challenges. And then I give you some additional work to hopefully again, extend that because my belief um, based on what I've seen is that until you actually have to create something, that's when you realize, that's when you can really gain the experience and the knowledge for how to do it. So that's my belief. And like I said, I've set up the learn togethers knowing that that could happen, but also trying to help you understand if you do look at somebody else's say that, but the idea is not to use their code. The idea is then to, and honestly, it is a skill to know, now that I understand what I need to do, go on my own and figure out a way to do it. That is not their example, their code, right? And yet I get that very commonly on the web, it is a very common practice, unfortunately, sometimes. Although I have to say, I've done it a couple times as well. I see somebody's example of how to do something. I'm like, oh, I could use that, right? But I also know typically I ended up, I end up refactoring it because I make it work in my own code environment, meaning my way of using it's going to be different than most. So I, I think that's why I'm trying to say is that I get that it is a very, in this industry, it's not uncommon to have that happen. I'm just trying to give you a framework for if you do look, right? then still attempt to write something different. Okay, so I've kind of gone over these concepts um, and I um, have gone over the work for next week. I have released week 16 as well. The only thing we have left, because we're gonna, next week is our last week on the Udemy course. And then for your week 17, based on what you choose to do for your dev, Two, I'm going to give you a choice of finding some of your own content and also coming up with your plan uh, for your dev too. But I'm talking about it today because I think the sooner you do it, uh, the better, uh, honestly, because remember, this uh, class ends on the 10th and it's not like during the regular semester where you can come see me. You have that week after 
that's not going to be true this time. It's a hard deadline. And I will have the schedule released probably next Friday, um, probably next Friday uh, for people. Because I've had a couple students ask me about that sign up. And I've got at least the schedule for when I'll hold sessions that week. Okay. All right. Have a great weekend. It's a beautiful weekend in California. Here in Central Valley, it's very nice. Starting to turn a little cold, which is kind of fun. So anyway, peace out.